Hi Libra and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for September 7th through to the 13th. So Libra, this is a general reading which means that the messages are not going to resonate for everyone. So be sure to check out your moon and rising sign readings as well and take what fits in Libra what doesn't. So Libra, today I'm going to be looking at some recent past, current, week, and near future energies. And I'm going to pull a card for the overall energy for the week for you. And then I will wrap up the reading with an Archangel Power Tarot card. I'll also be pulling clarifiers as well. If you like the way I do the readings or you just find that you enjoyed this reading, be sure to subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell, and give it a like and a thumbs up. I would be very grateful for that. So this is your recent past energy here. We have the Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands, and we have the Three of Wands. A lot of fire energy here. Knight of Swords, Wands, and yeah. Okay. This is your current week energy. Okay, it looks like an offer of love could be coming in for some of you. Or an opportunity to reconnect with your current partner. And in the near future, we have the Eight of Cups, Eight of Swords, and Ten of Swords. Your overall energy for the week, though, is the Empress. So this week is looking very good. Um, but it looks like there could be some challenges coming up in this near future. And in your recent past here, the recent past looks pretty good too. So with the Empress here, this is indicating that this week is a really good time for you for growth. It's a period of fertility. So if you have any ideas, anything that you wanted to, to um, initiate in this week, this is a really good time to do it because you have that fertile, creative type of energy that can lead to that becoming something very abundant for you. This is also really good for relationships as well. If you're trying to grow or develop or deepen a relationship, whether or not that's romantic or that is just your um, like friendships, close friendships, and, and how you relate and communicate with others. And for some of you, this can indicate a pregnancy with the Empress energy here. So some of you could be finding out that you're pregnant, your partner's pregnant, or someone very close to you is pregnant. Uh, so it does have that kind of an energy. In your recent past, we have the Knight of Swords, we have the Nine of Wands, and we have the Three of Wands. So it looks like you've been you've been working hard to make some kind of change in your life with this Knight of Swords because this can indicate a lifestyle change. And I'm really feeling like with you having the Nine of Wands here, the, about, and this is about being persistent um, and, and like kind of keeping still working hard knowing that that whatever it is you're trying to achieve and succeed in there's still a couple more obstacles to go so you're, you're maintaining that um, persistence maintaining that um, you know that that drive to to push forward and continue what you're doing and with this three of wands here this indicates that you you've been taking steps you've been taking actions and you're beginning to see results of your actions trickling in so whatever situation this relates whether or not this is in your money career finance sector it's in your relationship sector but it looks like you've initiated changes that you're actively trying to create something here in your life libra in your current week you have the Ace of Cups. This represents an opportunity for love. This can be a new baby, a new relationship, or the next stage or a deepening of a current relationship, such as a proposal, a marriage, or again, just you know, an offer of something or an opportunity to do something that's going to deepen that connection with another. But then you have the lovers here too. So this can indicate a new individual coming into your life someone that but it's someone that you really have this soulmate kind of connection to it's a kindred spirit kind of energy with this lovers um, so it's a deep love and it doesn't have to be romantic it can also just be someone you're very close to and, and have that connection um, you know where, where you just you, you're so in sync with this individual and for, for some of you too, th this lovers here can just also represent that opportunity to deepen a current relationship um, and to connect on a deeper level with the person that you are with and you are partnered with. 
And then you have the Six of Swords here, which indicates a transition. But this is a transition that's good for you. It's positive for you. You are moving away from things that were difficult and challenging and moving into calmer waters, something that is going to benefit you in the long term. So again, it, it does look like there's some th that this is really a focus of relationships for you, whether or not it's romantic or it's just how you connect with others. And so you could be changing the way you connect it and, and work and deal with others. And you could be focusing on that this week, Libra. But for some of you, and I think for many of you, this is really about um, either a new relationship or your current relationship moving to that next level. And for some of you, this is really about that next step, that next stage is about children. Um, so it's a, it's a beautiful energy here. In your near future, you have the Eight of Cups, you have the Eight of Swords, and you have the Ten of Swords. So you, you do have some challenges here, but the challenges look like they are really, you're stuck in your head, you're feeling trapped, you, you're finding it difficult to make a decision or make some kind of a choice with this Eight of Swords because you're stuck in your head, you're stuck in your thoughts. Swords energy is mental energy. It's everything that's going on in the mind. Um, but it's coming to a conclusion with this Ten of Swords here. This is a completion of an energy cycle. So I feel like you're going to be making a decision and a choice, something that, that you're really pondering and thinking about and you kind of feel stuck in it and you can't kind of see what what's your best course of action or direction to take, but that, that energy is going to be coming to an end and you're going to be making some kind of a choice. And that choice is really about you moving on from and retreating or moving away from things that don't fulfill you emotionally anymore. You're, you're seeking things that are going to be more, more emotionally fulfilling. You've turned your back on these cups because these don't, they don't do it for you anymore. They just really don't have that emotional satisfaction like they used to. So now you're looking for things that do provide that for you. And I feel like this is where you're finding it. Okay, so we are going to pull some clarifiers for you, Libra. Let's see what we can find with this Empress energy. Okay, we have the Fool. This is about new hope. This is about um, taking a chance, a new path, a new beginning, a new adventure. For some, for some of you, again, this can just even be an idea, something that you've been thinking about doing, wanting to get started, and you're taking that chance, that leap of faith now, and you're actually initiating it. And this is a really good week to initiate it because this can also, this Ace of Cups can also just be about something that is emotionally fulfilling for you if it's not about relationships and that opportunity. And that would be you take you taking whatever it is you want, your idea, and actually, you know, moving forward with it. And it's something that can bring you that happiness and that feeling of satisfaction here. With this Knight of Swords, we have the Nine of Cups. So this new path, this new direction or lifestyle change. You're looking to you're you're looking to really make your wishes come true. You're looking for material abundance and good health and emotional abundance. That is what you want. That's what you're moving towards. And again, you have the Knight of Swords, and you need to be persistent to make these changes happen. Oh, you have the lovers again. So it looks like this is so for for those of you that this is about relationships here. Um, that's. That's the action that you're taking is on relationships and building your relationships. Again, this can be about romantic relationships or it can just be your networking system, your, your people that you're really close to, but it's deepening those relationships and you're seeing results from it. But for others of you, this is clearly a, a romantic kind of relationship and you're working on building that, deepening that. And again, that could be that, you know, that, that new baby that's coming in. If it is about money, career, finance for you, um, and the actions that you're taking are about that, this can represent a decision and a choice, that you've made this choice to go after what is going to fulfill you, to bring you material happiness. Libra. This Ace of Cups here, you have the Seven of Pentacles clarifying it. So this is really about you knowing that you have to to grow this cup, to turn it into something abundant that's long-term and lasts for, for a long time, you know it's gonna take patience and it's gonna take hard work to grow that, but the abundance will be there and will come if you're patient and you put in the hard work. So with this lovers here, I feel like that, that you have some kind of a conflict going on, this tug of war, but I feel like this, is, this isn't between you and another person. I feel like this is more internal for you. Let's see if we can get a clarification on that, okay. 
you you have the four of cups clarifying it for so there's a surprise gift for emotional fulfillment coming in it's the universe karma has providing you with this cup you've earned it but there's this focus here on things that don't emotionally fulfill you anymore <clears throat> and I think, and I, I believe that this is kind of the precursor to this energy here where you've made that decision to turn away from things that don't emotionally fulfill you and seek things that do. And that's what where this is here. It's you basically cutting out the, in order to improve and or deepen a relationship or grow a new one, you do realize that you have to let go of that emotional baggage in order to allow this opportunity to grow. And that's what you're struggling with is letting go of that emotional baggage, but it looks like you're gonna be doing that here. The sun, so this transition, this change, whether or not this is about your relationships and growing and deepening relationships, or this is about your money and career, you have the sun shining down on you as you're making this transition, as you're, you um, are, are changing aspects of your life. And the sun is about you having <clears throat> material happiness, success in everything that you're doing and having a joyous outcome. So this is really the universe blessing you, Libra. With this Eight of Cups here, yeah. <clears throat> you have this focus on the things that, that didn't, aren't emotionally fulfilling you. And that, again, is I feel like where the, you're stuck in your head. It's, it's that struggle before you finally release them and, you know, realize what you still have and what you, you're seeking with this Five of Cups energy here. With this Eight of Swords, this letting go for you and overcoming this is really healing for you. It's a healing quality. Um, it's something that's going to... <clears throat> allow you to open up on a more emotional level but you could also have a Pisces Scorpio or Cancer around you that is helping you through this that is there to support you whether or not that's your partner that's a family member or a friend but you have that person around you this Queen of Cups energy that's this is someone who's very nurturing healing supportive makes you feel very good makes you see the best in yourself Libra that's the kind of energy, that's how this person would present or manifest for you. With this Ten of Swords, as this energy, um, as this, the, this challenging situation ends, I feel like balance is restored here with justice. And this is, justice is actually your card, Libra. This is you coming out in your reading. And Libra, you know, Libra really likes that balance. You're a very good negotiator. You're someone that's that's very good at seeing both sides of a situation and finding that middle path and what's the best option to take. You're, you're very good at that. You're known for that, Libra. And this is you coming out. This is you... Um, creating a win-win solution and um, this is really you finding that balance so it's very beautiful energy for you Libra. <clears throat> I'm going to pull that that Archangel Power Zero card now for you and let's see what we have for you Libra. We have the King of Raphael. Lovely. So this is telling you that yes, it's safe for you to trust and open up your heart again, that you have the ability to do many things and accomplish many things at once and, and it's time for you to focus on um, what really speaks to your heart, what really resonates with your heart and to follow your creative passions. And, and, and that, those are the messages for you for this week. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Be sure to subscribe and click on that notification bell if you enjoyed the reading or like the way I read the cards and make sure that you like and thumbs up and I will see you next time. Take care.